I am a costume designer and stylist, and in my last video where I taught how to make a boa, I happened to be wearing this choker, and I got a lot of comments and questions about it on my TikTok. So today I'm going to talk about this. Uh, the choker itself is actually made by Creepy Yeha. If you're not familiar, go ahead and check out that work because I own a lot of pieces by Yeha. If you love kind of fetishy things, harnesses, chokers, gorgeous, gorgeous work. Um, but these tassel -y doodads are my design. Um, and these are awesome because you can clip them onto anything. You can clip them onto earrings. You can clip them onto harnesses that you already own. You can clip them onto your hat your backpack, your keys, whatever, um, it will kind of instantly turn something fabulous, more fabulous. It will turn something normal into something festival ready. So um, these are amazing. By the way, I have a friend, Iggy, who makes these out of hair and clips them into hairstyles, which is genius. I don't know if you should copy that idea, but brilliant. Um, so I actually originally made these pieces for uh, Chrissy Costanza for the League of Legends World Tournament. I believe that was 2019 and we were in, we were in Paris. Nope. Yep. It was 2019. We were in Paris. Um, and so these actual clips are left over from that project and I just kept them and I clipped them onto everything because she didn't want them. So my win. <laughs> um, but so what you're going to need today to do this are these guys, which are called um, swivel hook bolts, swivel clips. They have a bunch of different names. You can find them online for about $1.50. You're gonna need some silk fringe. I got this at Mood. I wanna say that it was in the mid $20 per yard range. This is 20 inch long. Um, and if it gets a little wrinkled, you can steam it out. Um, you can use any length to do this with. Uh, so that's that. You're also going to need you're also going to need a needle with a with an eye that's wide enough for the fringe to go through and then you're going to need a regular needle and a thread in a matching color. So that's it. You're going to need the clips, the fringe, big needle, small needle, matching thread. So assemble your supplies and I will show you how I did it. Okay, so first start by laying out your fringe. And then take your ruler and you're going to make a three inch cut. So once you determine where that three inches is, take a small piece of tape and you're not going to see this because it's going to be wrapped up. And go ahead and tape at that three inch mark so that when you cut it, it doesn't come unraveled. Great. So you see here how these pieces, these fringe pieces are made up of one continuous loop like a U-shape right there, be sure not to cut that U-shape in half because that will also cause unintentional raveling and you'll waste precious fringe. So figure out that three inches and then go ahead and cut carefully trying to avoid that U-shape. Perfect. So that is your three inch piece. Okay, so you've got your piece of fringe. So now what you're going to do is fold it rather than roll it over and over because you are kind of going for a flat shape so that you can sew it onto this swivel clip. So that's gonna look like that. Great. And once you've got it rolled up, it's good if you already have your needle handy and then you can just go ahead and do basically what's just stabilizing these layers together and keeping it in the shape that you want. So I'm just gonna whip stitch across the top now. This can be ugly, it doesn't matter because you're not gonna see it. This is just to secure the shape that you just made. It's really thick, guys, don't judge me, I'm sweaty. Well, shit, I'm going to cut here because I'm very sweaty. OK, 
Okay, cut to your piece of fringe is all sewn into one nice little bundle. Your needle is threaded with the piece of silk that you just pulled. And so now we're gonna bring these two pieces together. It's gonna help you get through all these layers if you put your needle through underneath uh, where the stitching line is on the piece of fringe. And then what you're gonna do from here is start to wrap around the hook. Okay, so now you've got your hook attached to your silk. So you're gonna take another thread that you've pulled and we're gonna slide that under there. And we're gonna go ahead and wrap it around and then tie the two sections together and it'll be done. I'm like, don't worry about this looking too pretty. It's okay. The more of them you make, the less people will notice individual ones anyway. Okay, so that's about as wrapped as I want it. And now I'm just gonna tie them in a knot in the back. Trying to keep it nice and tight while I'm tying that. watching. I cannot wait to see what you guys do with these clips. So if you want to show me, please let me know in the comments. Tag me on Instagram as at Athena Lawton and same handle on TikTok at Athena Lawton. And if you want to see more tutorials by me, I teach tutorials in 60 seconds or less over on TikTok. So head over there. And if you enjoyed this video today, please like and subscribe. Thanks again.